In recent weeks, President Joe Biden revealed his decision to dispatch 31 M-102 Abrams tanks to Ukraine, which is comparable to providing the country with a full tank battalion. However, an essential aspect of the $400 million assistance program that hasn't garnered as much attention is the inclusion of the M88-2 Hercules, which is the customary heavy recovery vehicle employed by the U.S. Army. The Hercules vehicle was initially put into service in the 1960s, and it has undergone various improvements in the preceding 50 years to cope with larger and more massive tanks. The U.S. Department of Defense's decision to dispatch eight M88s to Ukraine demonstrates not only their intention to keep the tanks operational in combat, but also their worry that abandoned Abrams tanks might be captured by Russian forces. So, what is the M88? The M88 Heavy Equipment Recovery Combat Utility Lifting Extraction System, or Hercules, was introduced by the U.S. Army in 1961. It is aimed to provide aid to tanks in various ways, such as extracting tanks from muddy terrain and other natural obstacles, flipping over the overturned tanks, and most importantly, removing damaged tanks from the battlefront and transporting them to the rear for repair. The M88-2 is a crucial asset for any mechanized military, as a stationary tank can be a hindrance during warfare. The Hercules can assist in maintaining the mobility of a combined arms force, such as the U.S. Army, as it moves quickly to achieve its goals. The M88 vehicle is equipped with an A-frame winch and a dozer blade that the Army calls a spade. This blade enables the vehicle to anchor itself and pull out distressed tanks. Furthermore, the spade can be utilized for light earth moving to prepare a recovery area. The A-frame enables the M88 to lift tank turrets and engines for repair purposes, and the armored cab can protect the crew of four from heavy machine gun and artillery shrapnel. Constant upgrade. The, Her the Hercules vehicle first saw duty in the 1960s, and it has undergone several upgrades over the last 50 years to accommodate larger and more huge tanks. The decision of the U.S. Department of Defense to send eight M88 tanks to Ukraine reveals not just their resolve to keep the tanks active in combat, but also their concern that abandoned Abrams tanks may be taken by Russian forces. The M88 received an update to become the M8801, which was equipped with a stronger Continental AVDS 1792DR diesel engine that could produce 750 horsepower. With this upgrade, the M8801 was capable of towing up to 56 tons and lifting 25 tons, but when an improved version of the Army's Abrams tank was introduced in the 1980s, it became too heavy for the M8801 to lift. The new M1A1 Abrams featured depleted uranium armor that was 2.5 times heavier than steel, as well as a larger 120mm smoothbore gun. The newest version, the M1 A2 SEP Variant 3, is even heavier at a hopping 73.6 tons, making it one of the heaviest tanks in existence. This therefore caused a problem for the Army. So the U.S. Army dealt with the problem of the M80 A A1 by connecting two of them in a chain to tow a single M1 A1 tank. However, this was not a satisfactory solution as it tied up two M88s for one task. To address this, in the 1990s, the Army developed the M88-2, which was also adopted by the Marines. The M88-2 was capable of towing up to 80 tons and winching up to 35 tons, allowing a single M88-2 to serve one Abrams tank. This improvement upgraded the M88-2 from a medium recovery vehicle to a heavy recovery vehicle. Upgrades to the Hercules include improved braking, steering, electrical systems, and engine horsepower. It is equipped with armor protection, ballistic skirts, a 35-ton boom, a main winch with a constant pull of 140,000 pounds, and an auxiliary 3-ton winch to aid cable deployment. The M88-2 Hercules is designed to be the world's best recovery system. Outstanding Capabilities the Hercules is a heavy recovery system that is highly cost-effective and self-sufficient, with the lowest acquisition, operational, and maintenance costs. It was used as the primary 70-ton recovery system during Operation Iraqi Freedom and was also used to bring down the Saddam Hussein statue in Baghdad in 2003. 
The Hercules is built on a hull that has been thoroughly tested by the U.S. Army, ensuring unmatched stability and performance. It also offers operational and logistical commonality with the existing M8801 fleet, making training and parts availability easier. The Army explained that the M8802 has the capability to rescue tanks that are stuck in different depths, and it can also lift and replace tank turrets and engines, as well as overturn heavy combat vehicles. The vehicle's primary winch allows it to recover the 70-ton M1 at 2 Abrams tank. With a crew of three in space for four passengers, the M88-2 weighs 70 tons and can travel at a speed of 26 miles per hour while towing a 70-ton load. It also has a 50 caliber M2 machine gun. The initial M88 model used a gasoline engine, but when the heavier M1 Abrams tank was introduced, two M88 vehicles were created with stronger version. This new model has the capability to refuel main battle tanks from its own fuel tank during an emergency. Additionally, the M88 can be equipped with a deep wading kit, allowing it to cross water obstacles up to a depth of 2.6 meters after proper preparation. Keeping the secrecy of Abrams tanks As mentioned earlier, the Pentagon is dispatching 31 Abrams tanks and 8 m 88 2s to Ukraine. There are two main reasons for this. Firstly, since the Abrams tank is a complicated piece of equipment, Ukrainian troops who will be trained to maintain the tanks may not have the necessary experience and need to spend more time on service and maintenance, which requires towing support. Secondly, the Department of Defense is concerned about Russian forces capturing an Abrams tank and learning its secrets. In the event of an Abrams being damaged or breaking down, the U.S. Army wants to make sure that it can be evacuated as quickly as possible to prevent sensitive information from falling into the wrong hands. Although in case the Ukrainian troops might have orders to destroy advanced Western equipment, destroying a heavily armored 73-ton tank is a challenging task. Thus, with the help of the M88-2, the fast evacuation can be done in the first hand. Besides the variants M88-01 and M88-2 as mentioned above, the Hercules has a newest model called M88-3. The M88-3 is the most recent addition to the M88 family and represents an upgrade from the M88-2. It features an updated powertrain and enhanced capabilities for speed, hoisting, and winching, which enable the recovery of the most current iterations of the M1-2 tank. The recent announcement by the U.S. to send Abrams tanks to Ukraine follows a prior announcement by the U.S. and other European partners that they would be sending additional armored vehicles to Ukraine soon. France was the first country to approve the transfer of its Western-made armored vehicle, the AMX-10RC, a 16-ton armored combat, and reconnaissance vehicles. This decision paved the way for other countries to provide armored combat vehicles to Ukraine. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.